Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. V O K. Voice of Kali Judan. Flashback. Mm-hmm. In a month, you know, you can read with very good intonation in a month, but end a flashback. Hi everyone, welcome to VOK Voice of Kali Judan. And today we have Pak Hadi. Hi. And okay viewers. Yeah, hi VOK viewers. And today we are going to talk about some questions related to learning English or we can call it as frequently asked questions, yes sir. All right. I'm in my 20s, I'm in my 30s, I'm in my 40s. Will it be possible for me to learn English or is it too late for me? All right, so there is nothing like that. Mm-hmm. All right, so if you are already 40 and uh, you have just found out mm-hmm. that uh, your fluency in English will will help you in your job, in your career, will boost your career, you know, why don't you start learning? Ah. So probably all this time, you know, like you you have not felt the urge to learn Mm-mm. well do not regret <laughs> so take the chance okay so at that time probably um, you didn't need it Mm-mm. so Mm-mm. right now you need it so go for it all right okay. so believe me yeah there is always a first time for everything okay always. there is always first time for everything so no matter how old we are yes sir yeah so it doesn't if you want uh, if we need it or if you want to learn then go for it do it today exactly okay. do not postpone do not postpone remember everyone do not postpone and i i i would like to share something yeah sure, so sir. there is like one granny yeah. one granny ah, mm-hmm. we, we, we call her uh, Ibu Agnes Ibu Agnes, Ibu Agnes Cuaca, Ibu Agnes Cuaca and yeah. she's um, already more than 60 more than 60? yet you know she's one of our students sitting wow. in the second semester now mm. um, she's going uh, to sit in the in the third semester oh, wow and Great. I really uh, I really have to to appreciate you know mm-hmm. her willingness to learn mm, yes, so it's you're like right. you know like mm. sti- uh, uh, when you are still breathing keep mm-hmm. learning Okay, when you are still breathing, keep learning. Okay, remember everyone, keep learning. Do you think that learning a foreign language requires a special talent? And what if people think that, oh, uh, but uh, I am sad because I am not that talented. Okay, so once again, you know, learning a language is not mm-hmm. about uh, being talented. But you know, it is about you know taking the pain to learn. You know, taking sacrificing your learn. time <laughs> hanging out. You know, like mm-hmm. sacrificing your your time. You know, window shopping at the yeah, mall. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or or you know, taking a walk somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, it's just that actually. Well, if you are talented, yeah, mm-hmm. if you are talented and and you work hard uh, for it, mm-hmm. then the result will be very stunning. Oh. All right. But then if you have the urge you have the need hmm. yeah and then you work hard for it even though you do not have the talent still you can perform okay yeah so mm-hmm. uh, probably i would like to give you a kind of analogy yeah philosophically sure. yes okay all right so what do you see here this is a very big uh, water container mm-hmm. uh, quite a big bottle so probably this can um, accommodate one liter of water yes maybe but take a look mm-hmm. This is like the talent, you know, it's like mm-hmm. somebody's talent. It's okay. so big, but it's not working too hard for it. So okay. the content is just a little. Yep. Now, what about this one? So this is just like a, a, small, cup, huh? a small glass of water. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so probably just 330 yeah. mm-hmm. cc. Yeah. Yes, but this okay. is full, right? Yep, full. So, so this is like the glass is like uh, the talent. Yeah. Okay. And, and the content, the water is the hard work that, mm. that, that he puts in. Alright? So, even though the, the container is smaller, Mm-mm. okay, but I'm sure the content is more than the content here. I why? See. Because he's working hard for it. Mm-mm. So, that's why I believe in I believe in hard work. Okay. So if uh, although we are talented, but if we do if we do nothing with our talent, so yeah. That's what a waste. Yeah. Yeah. So later your talent will be taken away from you. Yes, <laughs> you're right. And yeah. So even though we have the talent, but mastering the English skills, like yeah, all other skills, 
cannot be done only in one night ya Surya it need practices yeah, lot of perseverance and what do you think sir about uh, the belief yeah the belief or maybe this uh, the issue that people will always say but children are better at learning languages than us the adults well um, I myself do not believe so okay. so I guess we are just you know as good as those kids mm-hmm. well it is just those kids um, they take risks they okay. risk. so they take risks so mm-hmm. they are not afraid um, of making mistakes mm-hmm. so they just keep talking they just keep talking and talking and you know like um, the problem is that you know like we worry too much about the mm-hmm. grammar we worry too much you know if I say this correctly or well that would hinder mm-hmm. your fluency but kids actually um, do not feel like do not do not think like that mm-hmm. so they just they just speak what they think mm-hmm. right so that's why you know like um, adults when 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 adults hear them speak and they make mistake mm-hmm. you know they will be corrected yeah yeah but mm-hmm. if for example us yeah we are afraid even to speak mm-hmm. how can we get correction right yeah you're right yeah so um, actually learning um, we are learning and those kids are actually also learning mm-hmm. so allow me to share my experience yep, when sure. I was um, assigned to Canada for Canada um, yeah non degree mm-hmm. training at that time so um, I was one morning I was on the sky train so it, it's not like train on, on the sky <laughs> flying the sky no, train no, no. to flying train <laughs> no it's not flying train <laughs> but it is just like uh, the light transit system mm-hmm. so um, in front of me um, there were a mother and and a little daughter and then uh, we were passing the stadium a very big stadium like the biggest sport complex in Vancouver and then um, the daughter said to her mom like hey mommy we mm-hmm. swim there yesterday swimmed actually, swimmed but actually mm-hmm. that is that is wrong yeah because swim swam swam right yeah, swim swam, okay, swam swim swam swam but mm-hmm. Um, the little daughter, a very cute one, you know, <laughs> blonde hair and blue eyes, you know, like very, very cute. And then um, the mommy corrected her like, Mm-mm. no, honey, no, dear, we swam, okay. we swam there yesterday, swam, swam, mm-hmm. swam. So don't worry about the grammar. I know grammar is like the biggest point, like or 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 we we could say like the momo, yeah, you know, you're the right, nightmare, yeah. <laughs> okay, but you know, like um, even. Even native speaker also learn the grammar, okay. but um, what is different is that they have started much, much, much earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you see, like um, uh, I guess most of you younger than me, you know, um, must have been luckier than me because I knew English, you know, st- starting when I was in 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 the first year of uh, junior high school. Mm-hmm. But I guess most of you mm-hmm. have learned English since you were in kindergarten. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But with a lot of hard work, yeah, with a lot of perseverance, I can speak English wow. fluently right now. Even I teach grammar, yeah. you know, like okay. a nightmare for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare for okay. everybody. Okay. So um, about the children, yes, sir. Like the the case that we are. We have just discussed before. So, if we want to learn English, then we have. I think we have to re- remember two things, and we can say this to our viewers. Number one is that children are risk takers, so we have to be like children sometimes. Yeah. And do not be afraid of making mistakes because mistakes are part of our learning. Exactly. And if we take risks, I mm-hmm. guess um, we will be more successful than kids because. We can um, discipline ourselves better, mm, yep. and then we can uh, find resources. Mm-mm, we can mm-mm. also find people with whom we talk to, and yeah. we know like who is who is better than us, who are better than us, and we can always ask for suggestions. Yes, we can have more access to learn. Yes, exactly, uh, resources and stuff. And uh, what do you think about the case when people say? I think I can speak without knowing grammar because grammar is not important. So once again, you know, like uh, the case of um, uh, the kids' competition I told you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So b- 
basically you can speak you can say sentences you know and you know the meaning without knowing the grammar so do you do you just remember that um first when you learn english you know mm. like uh you are given this sentence how are you <laughs> and you know like you say how are you and i'm fine and something mm-hmm. like that even you didn't know at the time about to be and how to use to be but you still can say like how are you yep. mm-hmm. and then i'm fine mm-hmm. but then later after that silent <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay or for example um you can say um the sentence how do you do without knowing that it is in a simple present mm-hmm. and because it is a question so you have mm-hmm. to put the auxiliary up front after the question word and before the subject something like that uh-huh. or probably you can you can say like i was born in surabaya mm-hmm. so uh, without knowing that it is actually a passive, passive voice construction i was born i to be in the past was and then born from the pair for born mm-hmm. so without even without knowing the grammar you know that it is passive and stuff you know you can you can uh, express yourself saya lahir di surabaya yeah. was born in surabaya mm-hmm. so um that is true okay. okay but if you want to create sentences mm-hmm. if you want to create um like you want to be productive mm-hmm. and without knowing the grammar that is not possible because you know without knowing the grammar you just memorize you okay. just memorize uh, sentences mm-hmm. and then you know like when you are asked questions then you cannot construct at all okay. and even you know like knowing a simple pattern like subject to be plus noun you can already make limitless yeah number of 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 sentences a lot of sentences yeah without limit so mm-hmm. that's why you know um grammar is it's very important yeah it is not a formula actually be- because it is i prefer to say it like pattern patterns yes so um cannot produce sentences mm-hmm. without knowing the pattern okay yeah. so yes it's still possible for us to speak without knowing the grammar but we cannot construct the sentences very well yes sir yeah or you cannot produce anything oh uh, yeah produce fact. anything we just uh speak with maybe like we say the sentences or the expressions that we try to memorize okay.